Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of AWS Cloud Adventure Series. My name is Om Prakash Jha. I'm solutions architect based here in the Netherlands. Today I'm going to discuss MLOps platform of NWB. Joining me from NWB, Bas Hauven. Bas, would you introduce yourself? Of course. Well, thank you for having me, uh, Om. My name is Bas Huyben and I'm working uh, at the ANWB as a data scientist and MLOps engineer. And I've been working for the last two years on our MLOps platform. Yeah, awesome, Bas. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the MLOps platform you have built and why, why did you build that? Yes, well, like Arnold explained in the business video, at the ANWB, we have a lot of different services. And those services are creating a lot of data which is perfect for artificial intelligence and machine learning. Um, and we can use those techniques to improve the customer experience. Similarly, we have 10 AI models in production and we have many more on our backlog. Uh, but we've had some difficulties with deploying, managing and monitoring those models. And that's when we started experimenting with Amazon SageMaker, uh, which was a great tool for us because we were already working on AWS. Um, and it was offering us all the capabilities we needed. Uh, however, we would like to standardize all the projects that we do. So deploy all the AI models in the exact same way with the same security guidelines and the same architecture. And that's when we developed AceMaker. AceMaker is basically a shell around Amazon SageMaker. AceMaker, interesting name. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the challenges uh, you were facing with your previous platform? Yeah, with our previous uh, deployment stack, we were having a lot of different problems. One of the big problems was that it was difficult to retrain a model once it was in production. So it took us a long time to retrain a model and get the model in production, why we actually didn't do it that much. Uh, another problem that we faced is that we had no monitoring on top uh, of our uh, models. So we didn't know if a model was still working in production. Another problem that we had is we didn't know um, on which data and on fire which code the model was trained on. Mm -hmm. the, the old deployment stack was really buggy, so we had to do a lot of manual fixes to get everything ready and to get everything deployed. So that's why we really needed something else, a new platform to deploy our models more quickly and more structured. So you built AceMaker to solve the challenges, right? Can you unfold a little bit about what AceMaker is and how it is addressing the challenges, challenges what you have mentioned, but also what goals of NWB you are meeting uh, with using, using AceMaker? Yes, well, first of all, the goal of AceMaker is to make it for data scientists really easy to deploy their models in production. But not only the deployment, but also monitoring and managing the, the models in production. And AceMaker itself is basically a Python package that the data scientists can use. Mm -hmm. And within AceMaker, we did, we did three things. The first thing we did is we created 12 different components. For instance, a data extraction component that a data scientist can use to extract data from a certain place. Or a data processing component that a data scientist can use to process the data. Um, the next thing we did is we automated as much as possible. So with just one line of code, the entire pipeline can be created in Amazon SageMaker. Uh, and also another thing, the data scientist doesn't have to think about where should I store the data. That is automatically being done in AceMaker itself. Okay. And the last thing is that all those components can be combined in an easy to read text file. So the end product is just a text file containing all the different components and how those components are combined together. Uh, and that's basically the input for the pipeline. Interesting. So it seems like uh, you have made the life of data scientists at NWB very easy. So if I ask you to talk about top three benefits of AceMaker, what you are getting at NWB, uh, but also for your customer. So the first benefit is that AceMaker enables a data scientist to work in a really structured way as they have predefined components for specific tasks. Um, and this makes the code readable and maintainable. But the second benefit is that it's easy for other data scientists to take over the project. Uh, because everything is defined in an easy to read text file and you can just start with that as a starting point. And all the models are deployed in the exact same way. Well, and third, we as MLOps engineers, we are in control. We know exactly where the data is being stored. We know how the data is being encrypted. We know that always monitoring 
is placed on top of the endpoint. We know that, for instance, also always an API gateway is placed on top of a SageMaker endpoint, ensuring that the security guardrails are always met and that we always have proper monitoring on each model that we deploy. Okay, so if I summarize, uh, it's uh, you allow your data scientists to deploy your model, deploy their model in controlled way. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So uh, if I think about AceMaker and you have mentioned, mm -hmm. this is an abstraction over various Amazon SageMaker features uh, or services, right? Can you tell us uh, about what Amazon SageMaker features or services uh, you have used? And why? Well, first of all, most of the components are based on processing, SageMaker processing, and training jobs. So those are the two first components we mainly use. Another component that we use from SageMaker is the SageMaker pipelines. So all those components are being combine, combined into a SageMaker pipeline. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing we use is the SageMaker Studio, where we can develop our AI models. Mm -hmm. um, we use, also use the model registry, where we register all the models and all the different model versions. And another thing we use is SageMaker projects where we can group all the different MLOps resources together. So we have a centralized view for each project. Okay, so it seems like uh, uh, quite some features and services you're using from Amazon SageMaker. Okay, uh, Boss, can you show this in action? Of course I can. Let me show, uh, show it in a demo. So in this demo, I would like to show you how you can build a train and inference pipeline uh, with SageMaker. So the goal is to create a config file, which is actually a YAML file containing three sections. So the first section is the project setting section, which is used to generate a project within SageMaker. You only have to provide a project name, project description, and email uh, in order to create a project. The second section contains the pipeline steps. Here you define the steps, you would like to create to build the train and inference pipeline. So in this example, we have created five different steps. The first step is of course the data extraction step. You need to extract the data from someplace. So you simply specify the type, in this case data extraction, and you specify the function you would like to execute. For data processing, it is exactly the same. You specify the type data processing and the function you would like to execute. Uh, but also for data processing, you need of course input data to process. In this case, the input data of this processing step is the output of the data extraction step. And you can really easily define it by this way. Uh, also, if you would like to install some additional packages, some additional Python packages, you can really easily install the Python package via this method. Then the third step is to train the model. Once again, provide the type, the function, you need input data, which in this case is the output data for the processing step. You have to add some metrics, some performance metrics, the hyperparameters you would like to use. And once again, in this case, we are using the scikit-learn package. Then the fourth step is to register the model in the model registry. Uh, once again, specify the type, the function you would like to use for inference, the model artifact, which is the output of the training job, then the model name, and maybe some additional requirements. Then for the last step, the deployment step. In this case, we would like to do a real-time deployment, and you only have to provide the model package name. Then in the last section, you can combine all those different steps together uh, in the pipelines section. Just specify the type, in this case, train. You have to add a description. You can put a schedule on it. In this case, we uh, would like to ex execute the pipeline immediately, but you can also put a cron scheduler on top of it. So you can schedule the pipeline every Monday, every Tuesday. It doesn't really matter. And then last, you specify the types you would like to be executing within the pipeline. And also, if you would like to connect the steps together, you can do that via, via this way. Then for the serve pipeline, it is exactly the same, but in this case, we only have one step and it's the real-time deployment step. And then once you have configured the config file, you can really easily uh, create a pipeline via the create pipeline function from AceMaker, only specify the path to the config file and the pipeline type train or serve. So in this case, the train pipeline looks like this. And for the serve pipeline, it looks like this. And what you see is that the serve pipeline consists out of seven steps, but we only specified one step in the config file. And this is what we do with an ace maker. We automatically take the, uh, the last model from uh, the model registry. We create a model within SageMaker. We create an endpoint role. 
we create the endpoint itself, we wait until the endpoint is created, we add an API gateway on top of it, uh, so everything is secure, and we also add monitoring, so we can, for instance, detect data drift. Okay, wow. It looks uh, so easy that uh, the data scientist can deploy AI models in, in such such easy fashion using easy to read text file. Okay, good, uh, boss. So what are your uh, future plans with ACE makers? So what, what kind of capabilities you're thinking to add in ACE maker in future? So currently we have 12 different components and we would like to add some additional components uh, to Ace Maker. So for instance, we would like to add a Spark processing component that we can use to, well, first of all, run Spark in the cloud and analyze really big data sets. Another component we would like to use is SageMaker Clarify that we can use to clarify or to explain all our predictions. And we would like to add a hugging face component that we can use to really easily fine tune models from hugging face, but also deploy them really easily. So quite some good plan. So boss, thank you very much for uh, joining and I'm excited to see how many AI models uh, your team is going to deploy in production in coming time. Uh, and I'm excited to be part of this journey. Thank you for joining today. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you very much for joining uh, another episode of Cloud Adventure Series. If you want to know more about NWB, please check out the business video. Thank you.